Hi everyone, I'm Cody W3AMG at Bridgecom Systems and today we're going to be showing you how to get started using your radio before you actually have your call sign. Uh, so we get asked this all the time, hey, I'm just getting my call sign, I don't have it yet or I'm still working on the test, but I wanna start using my radio. Uh, this is the video for you. So let's jump in. First thing, uh, find yourself a local repeater or something you want to listen to. Obviously, until you have your license, you can't press that PTT button, uh, but I'll show you a way to make it easier so you don't have to worry about that. Uh, so let's jump into CPS here. So here we go. Here's the programming software. We have lots of other videos that'll help you out with learning the system. Uh, so the first thing you'll want to do is find a local repeater. So I have already done that. Repeaterbook.com is a great resource. So here's my repeater. Now, if I wanted to be able to listen to this, what I will do is, uh, this is a digital repeater. So if I wanna hear what's going on, I'll actually have to turn on digital monitor. So in this case, I have the repeater programmed in. Uh, much of the digital information doesn't matter too much at the moment. What you wanna do is click PTT prohibit right here. Go ahead and click that. And that means that when you're on your radio, you can't actually talk to the repeater. There we go. We can click okay. Now, at this point, we will write this information over to the radio. So we'll plug the cable into our computer and then into our radio here. There we go. And at this point in that CPS, uh, you'll make sure we can see the radio, which we can. And then just go ahead and click on the button to the right of that, write to radio and write the other data. Perfect, there we go. So once that is finished, we can take a look at the radio here. So wait for that radio to boot up. Awesome, there we have it. So if I go up, scroll up on the zone, there is the repeater. Now, because we added that PTT prohibit, if I press the push to talk button, you can see it won't actually let me. So I can, I can press that, hold it. It's not gonna let me transmit. This is great if you, if you don't have your call sign yet. That way you can really use your radio without having to worry about it. Now, at this point, we can't actually really hear anything unless we key up on it. So what you'll wanna do is turn on digital monitor. So we'll go into the settings here. Scroll down to settings. Actually, no, you don't have to go all the way to settings. It's right below settings. So go to Digimani. That stands for digital monitor and click on that. Now you'll want to go to switch. And I like to turn this to double slot. That way you can hear everything on the repeater. Turn that on. And now you can just back out, click P2 to back out. And you're going to be hearing all the activity on that repeater. Now, because it's digital until you have your call sign, you can't actually key anything up yourself. So if no one's talking through that repeater, you're not gonna be able to hear anything on that network, on the DMR network. Uh, but if someone is talking on the repeater, once you have this set up, you'll be able to hear them. Thank you all very much for watching. I hope you learned something from today's video. If you did, be sure to hit that subscribe button and click the notification bell next to it to make sure you don't miss out on any more great content. That's all I have for you today. I'm Cody, W3AMG, 73.